Okay, we're with Chad Gabriel of the El Paso Diablos. Chad, how you doing? I guess, uh, what is this your, like, first time back since since leaving the Air Hogs, huh? Uh, no, well, it'll be the second time back. Uh, when I initially got put on waivers, St. Paul had picked me up. And then the very next series St. Paul had was against Grand Prairie, so that was my first time back. Oh, that's but right, I remember. First time here this year. Yeah. Um, it's a little, you know... Spring, spring, How's it feel now? Spring, it's just a lot of memories. Yeah. You know, a lot. Yeah. Playing here for two years. Um, seeing a lot of a lot of the people that used to come out all the time. Uh, all the Booster Club. You know, there's a handful of guys on that side I still know. So uh, yeah. it feels good. You know, it's good to be back in Dallas. Good. good. Well, it's good to see you. And uh, I know you've been all uh, across the world in Australia. And yeah. how was that? How was that one? Uh, well, Australia, it was a life changer, man. I went over there and got a lot of things sorted out. You know, the last time we had an interview, it was a little. <laughs> yeah. I don't show that much. I'm, yeah. That was. But it's a different time in my life now. I'm put in a lot of work and um, turned some things around and we're doing all right in El Paso. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, and, and I've been noticing, congratulations to you, like second in the league in, in RBIs and hits. And uh, I, I did, I, I've gotten off to a pretty pretty good start, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I don't know if it's a tribute to playing winter ball or whatever it is, it's just, it's been one of those years so far and I'm really hoping. Yeah, you, you, you're, 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 yeah, you're banging the ball, man. You're just like, you're terror on the base, man. Had a rough, had a rough night last night. <laughs> you know, the, the guy, he had my number, but he didn't say, but say. But um, Grand Prairie's a really, really solid team. You know, like, they got starting five are really good. Um, defense, offense, I mean, all the way around, they're, they're a well-rounded team um, all the way across the board. And so it makes it difficult, you know, it makes us have to really – um, limit our mistakes. You know, we don't really have, we can't afford to make too many mistakes right. in, uh, in order to, to beat them. And so um, tonight, we're gonna go for our first, <laughs> our first win against them. It's been, it's been rough. They're really good, and uh, we're just gonna keep battling. Well, if, it, if it's any consolation, of course, the owner that owns the Air Hogs owns the Diablos. Mm, yeah. So and and also Amarillo. So I mean, it's like, you know, we're kind of like the same family, even though we're on the same. We got different jerseys. It's exactly. like we're the same family. Uh, Which is odd because, I mean, we're obviously fighting last night. I don't know if you saw yeah, that. Yeah, I saw that on the Internet. I, I thought, well, where's my boy Chad? You know, why yeah. isn't he, like, stepping in here? Uh, I guess that thing happens, you know. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, got my family in town, you know. If I'd have done anything to get suspended or whatever, it would have been really cheated a lot of people. You know, I wouldn't have been able to play in front of them. And, yeah. Uh, so I got about well, people coming tonight. So. Yes, there's no sense in yeah. there's no sense resorting to violence. To, for it's a always game. a little weird when you fight with the other team and like you know all of the other guys. It's like yeah, okay, how weird was that? Who am I gonna punch? Yeah, what, are you gonna go up to Espinosa and <laughs> punch him in the nose? Or what are you gonna do? You know, no. it's like yeah, it's funny. <laughs> well, I guess that happens in baseball. That just you know, yeah. I think I think what ha- and I'm no expert at it, but I think what happens is. The moment just gets out of proportion. You guys are going to come out today. It's going to be ball. It's going to be, yeah. yeah, there's no hard feelings. There's always a lot of emotion in uh, professional sports, and sometimes it escalates and gets out of hand. But I mean, if, you know, you pitchers can't help it if they hit people. You know, they can't help it. Yeah, sometimes they can. Sometimes yeah, but... they can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help out. Yeah, no, I don't, you know, I don't know what goes through anybody's minds when that sort of thing happens. I just, my personal focus is just to play the game. You know, I'm not, I'm not really focused on all that other. Yeah. Well, Chad, you got you to, to get off that subject. You, you're. I'm just really being a, a Chad Gabriel fan still. Uh, I'm really proud to see that you're doing great. And and uh, and I was keeping up with you when you were down and down under there, and uh, it, it was exciting just to see you. You know, you were having a good time down there. It looked like, and uh, yeah. so it's good that you're back in the area. And and who knows? You know, our Mr. Smith went to the Yankees, so mm-hmm. I, maybe they can slot another person of his caliber here who knows i don't know i think you know i think you're what do they call it, an l4 or five l5 I, I don't know what that means but uh it's league status okay yeah. so you're like at the top of getting the salty <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting maybe, there. maybe it'll be your next maybe they'll call you next who knows yeah i just all i'm focused on is things that i can control and how you know how i play the game and we'll see where that takes us all right what do you think chad number one and i know this is maybe a an obscure question, but what do you think the number one change has been with you now compared to last year? Um, I think I think potentially the uh, the preparation. You know, um, playing winter ball in Australia really changed me in the sense that it really it taught me a good work ethic. Like, you know, in past off seasons, you go home, you, you find a job, you're not able to get that like baseball practice. You know what I mean? Like. 
And so since I was out there, you know, I had a, I had a couple jobs, but I also played baseball every day. And so I think the work ethic, um, the repetition, just like you know, with anything in life, the more repetition you get, the better you're going to be at it. And so with the preparation came like the mental strength as well, because if you're prepared there's nothing to be worried about, you know, I mean, there's no mental, like, oh, it's like, I'm prepared, I, you know, I've set myself up for success by being ready to go out there and do my job, I think, I think ultimately that's, that's it. Cool. Well, Chad, uh, just like last time, I, I'm going to leave, I'm going to end it with you, you have anything about, uh, have anything you want to say with, uh, for your fans here? Well, um, I miss, I miss you guys, you know, I miss Dallas very much, um, my two years here was, it was amazing, and um, it feels really great to be back, and Thanks for all the support. Yeah. Well, best of luck, my friend. It's so Thanks, good to Luke. see you, and, and welcome back. Huh? Thank you, Luke. All right.